good afternoon. This is Iko Pusisi from the African Press Club live in Barcelona. How are you doing? I hope you're good. So I have been away for a couple of weeks, about three weeks. I haven't made a video because I had a mini crisis in school that I had to sort out. There was so much to do. As you remember, my primary aim of being in Spain is for school. I'm working on my doctorate. So that is the most important for me, it's the priority. Every other thing comes secondary, so I had to sort that out and get back into making videos. Today, I want to give us an update of happenings in Spain. I've had calls from some friends asking what's really going on because we seem to be ready or almost going back into another lockdown a fresh lockdown since we were released from confinement there has been an increase in um, the number of new infections i think about 2000 in in the last two to three weeks so the government is getting worried about that and they're asking everyone to, to be more careful, to be more cautious. So for instance, after the lockdown, you were allowed to go anywhere. The bars, restaurants, the beaches, everywhere was open. However, mask was compulsory in closed spaces. It wasn't compulsory everywhere. Now they have brought back some restrictions. The masks are now compulsory in all public places. That's why I have this hung here. Although I'm just alone in the street, I live down the street. So it's now compulsory in public spaces. Then some restrictions are back. For instance, the nightclubs and the restaurants, they have to close later by 12 midnight. So it wasn't the case. Then in the news recently, the UK came in with a new policy that all the visitors from Spain will be quarantined upon arrival in the UK. And the Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, has replied to that, or he has responded to that, and he says it's unfair. Uh, Pedro Sanchez, they call him Mr. Handsome. <laughs> He's a very handsome man, check that out. Pedro Sanchez, guapo in, in, uh, in Spanish. Mr. Handsome, that's what they call him. So Mr. Handsome has told the UK government off. They said there are some regions in Spain where the, um, the infections are not high at all, especially the areas where British people come for holidays, for vacation. There are areas like Canary Islands that are very popular tourist destinations. And because it's summer, uh, everyone is flooding there. People want to get out of confinement and have some good time with their families so he is asking the UK to raise um, the quarantine proposal that they have put forward for every visitor coming from Spain whether that will change is another question we don't know it's also been reported that the new cases infection cases in our region Catalonia I am in Catalonia Barcelona is also high especially among young people they have said that probably the younger people were reckless once the confinement was over so they went partying and went overboard so we are seeing cases of that as a whole some countries have also restricted travel to Spain like Germany one or two other European countries I don't know but we are here it seems fine um, the hospitals don't seem to be overwhelmed at least at the moment but it's also important that we take caution and that we are careful once I finish my video I'm going back upstairs I mean mostly I'm at home working so what is what else is happening in Spain this is the biggest news for now Immediately after the lockdown, I went to the beach. Oh my goodness, you need to have seen the beach. 
it was full of people. You couldn't find somewhere to put your feet. That was how desperate people were to leave their homes and, and go somewhere public and relax and enjoy themselves. So I can understand the new infection they're talking about. I mean, the streets were full of people everywhere. It was, it was a lot, you know. But um, the other thing is that a vaccine hasn't been found. So I think the infections will continue. It's like a flu, right? The coronavirus is like a flu. So the infections will continue. I think what we should be looking at is the rate of deaths. The rate of deaths. Are the rate of deaths as high as it was when the coronavirus started? I don't know, but I don't think we can lock ourselves indoors forever. A lot of people have written up this year already. There's nothing that's gonna happen the whole of this year because of the caution concerning public gathering. And of course, we know that some events or many events have gone online. Zoom is booming now. So many meetings on Zoom, conferences on Zoom, seminars, workshops, all sorts. You know, everyone is on Zoom. You know, that is a new normal. Well, at least in Barcelona, they call it the new normal. Yeah, we don't know how long this new normal will continue. But I personally think this virus will be around for a while if it's flu-like. You get it, maybe you, 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 know, you survive, maybe, maybe not. But um, that's the latest in Spain. Where are you? What part of the world are you in? What's happening in your own region? So I hope this clarifies some of the fears and anxieties and worries that I have received from some friends, from family members. Everyone is asking me actually. And when I watched uh, the Nigerian news this morning, I come from Nigeria. Yesterday and this morning, when I watched the news, it was all about Spain, 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 Spain. So I was like, whew, well, I am still here. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I am still here healthy doing okay working on my thesis and hoping that this thing blows over soon let me take you down to the street and see i mean i think that um yeah populations have reduced a little bit this is a major street and then this is an inside street there isn't a uh, much people at the moment Looks like people are scaling back activities and going back home because of the resumption of some sort of restrictions on life. So this is what we're seeing. This is a small street. Um, so there usually isn't many people in the street. The bigger roads where the ve most vehicles fly are behind me but as you can see life is quiet smooth going on semi-normal in Spain I can definitely tell you that people are not panicking no one is panicking about the virus people are just watching the news and listening to what new instructions the government is dishing out and trying to follow them example i was speaking to a friend two days ago and she was like most of our meetings that she had scheduled had to be cancelled immediately the government talked about resumption of um, lockdown she, she cancelled everything and said you know what we have to wait for the next one month to see what happens and then they can decide what else to do but it's very peaceful over here I'm just still walking so that you can see it's, it's very peaceful over here people are going out doing their normal businesses the shops are still open as I can see shops restaurants everything it's still open 
at the moment they haven't shut down for a second time I don't think they will but I hope you've enjoyed today's video this is the update so far and I will bring you more in the coming weeks take care of yourself I am taking care of myself please subscribe to my channel at Ikoku CC don't forget to press the bell so that it can inform me whenever we have a new material for you hope to see you soon thank you so much for watching take care now bye bye bye